everybody! Welcome back to more RPG Maker MC Tutorials. I know it's been a while, but school has been hitting hard. Anyway, for this tutorial, we are going to learn how to make a custom skill. To make a skill, first we have to go into the database, right here. As you can see, we have our skill tab right over here. And here is our very basics of skills. So, to make this skill, we're going to make a heal we're going to make a healing skill. Firstly, we're going to give it a name. I okay, I named this heal, which is a basic heal. So, we're going to have to give it an MP cost so we can't use it endlessly. Let's have it set to 5 MP. And we're going to have it to choose our scope. Since this is a healing magic, we're going to give this applying to ally. And it has to be alive since we'll need to heal any injured players. So, for a skill type, we can just keep it on magic. You could do this with other skills, like you can name this with special skills, you can do this with other skills. Anyway, we'll add this description. I already added this ahead of time, so it says heals an ally slightly. So, here's the difference. So, before we continue, I'd like to go to the difference between two ways of giving healing effects. You can either go to effects and click on recover HP and do whatever you like there, or if you wanted to display a number, you could do this in the damage tab. So we're gonna have to do it, we're gonna, that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna do HP recover, we're gonna keep it on element none, and I would like to keep the variance between 20% and leave it critical hits off. For the formula, I'm going to do something simple. How about 400, 400 plus the user's, user's magic attack times 4. Now, the reason why it says A.MAT is because look at this formula tab. It's a formula for calculating basic damage. The target is A, the target is B, and the user is A. Both are followed by a dot, which indicates that A and B are both objects, and the stat and the stat names are their parameters. Anyway, let's continue. Let's add it onto on it onto hit type. If you want certain hits, it's going to guaranteedly hit. On physical or magic attack, it's going to attack, and it has a chance of missing. Next, we're going to choose an animation. Let's see what we got here. We're going to find a heal animation. Heal 1. That'll work. Now, what we're going to do is have the message displays when we, when we use the skill. We're going to click on the, the, these three buttons are quick settings, and you can do something like this. Click, casts this, and does that. And now, we have our simple healing skill. But first, we're going to have to allocate a party member to the skill. Let's see here. Oh, uh, we'll get into that later. Anyway. Let's add this skill to the character. Let's add this skill to the protagonist just for testing purposes. Uh, let's see, where is it? Uh, there it is, number 52. Alright, now let's do a battle test in the troops menu. Okay, this looks good. And now we test. Let's just have them attack and do their thing. Here's where we actually get to do the heal. Let's use the skill, and that blue number indicates our MP cost we mentioned earlier. If you're using TP, it will be a different color, be it green or yellow or something. But first, we're going to heal Skyla since she's damaged. Let's just have everyone... Up. Oh yeah, I forgot. Whenever you use an item in this, in the uh, troop tester, you get 99 of each.
Okay, now that we know the skill works, let's just exit the testing menu. Sorry that you guys could barely hear me over the, uh, the thing. Anyway, let's close this. And that's everything you need to know about the basics of making a skill. This is the basics of healing a skill, but next, let's make an attacking skill. So let's go back to skills. Let's count eight down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Now let's make a simple fire skill. We're going to choose this icon for fire. We're going to name it fire. You can actually name this whatever you want, but I like to name things simple. Does low fire... And we're going to make this skill cost 5 MP again. However, this time instead of always, we're going to have it be on just the battle screen, so it just targets on the battle screen. Certain hit, none, and cast that. Next, our skill animation. We're going to go to down here, fire 1-1. One, one. This one. There we go. Next, let's do into damage type. We're going to do HP damage, element fire. We're going to have this do 100 damage each time plus a dot magic attack times 4 minus b dot magic defense times 2. Okay. Now that we have that taken care of, let's give this let's give this let's give this let's give this Let's see, we're going to give this to an actor. Ooh. We'll probably worry about that in a later episode. But for now, let's close it and save our thing. We'll make sure that this works in a future episode. But for now, this is Windy Wearing Tutorials, and I'll see you guys next time.